What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to another Madden 25 tip. And in this Madden 25 tip, we are giving you part two of our Scheme of the Week here, our seven-part series of Scheme of the Weeks. In this episode, we are talking about the five sets for success once again. In today's video, we are focusing on the run defense. So guys, it's always a very good thing to have the run defense, an ability to play uh, the inverted cover two uh, to stop the run in Madden 25. And so uh, one of the things that as we go through and progress through your gaming, uh, Madden 25 gaming career, you will find there are several different, um, several different things that you can do to stop the run. There's several different concepts, different things that uh, a lot of gamers will use. Some people like the inverted cover two. Some people like the cover two. Some people like zone blitzing, and that's kind of my personal favorite. But all of these defenses have to do with the uh, act of balance. And so for my uh, running formation here that I want to illustrate to you guys today, and this is, again, this is not necessarily an exhaustive list of run formations. This is just simply a concept that can be applied. So with our best base play yesterday we talked about the cover three buzz why we liked it well our base run defense it comes from the same formation and it is the mike sam crash in combination with the wheel punch three seam and why do you say we call those two plays well we have the mike sam crash for off tackle right we have the wheel punch three seam for off tackle left and i forgot to say this a second ago we have the mike will cross for the runs for the middle run defense so in the same sense of the three-headed rushing attack, we have a, a run right, a run left, and a run middle. Also, in our three-headed rushing defense, we have a off-tackle left, off-tackle right, and run middle defense based off of the strength of the formation. For example, single back ace. You're not going to get a whole lot of halfback dives because there's no fullback. So I feel confident in my ability to play just a balanced defense against a single back ace. So that's where you'll see uh, something like the inverted cover two. So here we're going to go get our inverted cover two on, and this is where the inverted two becomes uh, useful. Now, what I'm, let me let me try to kind of bring that back a little bit, slow it down a little bit, try to get you guys to understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you have to be 100% sure if your opponent is going to run to the right or left or middle, because you're never going to be able to be 100% sure. What I am saying is this. If your opponent's running a single back ace type of run and they are running the ball to the right every single time, half back stretch right, half back stretch right, half back stretch right, it makes no sense to run the inverted cover three. It makes perfect sense to run the Mike Sam crash or the under, under Sam shark. Those two plays are basically the same thing. Again, same thing to that left side. So if they're running like ATL zone week and they're running left, 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 it makes no sense to run the inverted cover three. Why not just um, run the wheel punch three seam and lock it up left? Or if they're running halfback dive, halfback dive, halfback dive, right, why run the not run the middle Mike will cross instead of running the inverted cover two? All of these things are viable points. What I'm suggesting to you is in your opponent in a situation where your opponent will have different formations. So for example, your opponent might have this kind of a look here, where they have more guys to the left side of the screen than to the right side of the screen. This is where we want to call the wheel punch three seam and try to lock up the stretch run that way. Okay, same scenario to the right side. So for example, if your opponent's coming out and saying, okay, so we're gonna run to the right now. So they motion the guy over. Well, we're probably gonna run the Understam Shark because the Understam Shark is a right side uh, run container. Okay, and that's kind of the, the, the tendency. And so then again, like I said, maybe they're, maybe they're trying to run the ball middle. So, okay, we're gonna run the Mike will cross. Well, we're gonna try to stop him in the middle. And see the Michael Cross does a good job at that. For example, formations like that that will attack the middle of the field is the pistol. Okay, so like the pistol read option stuff, Michael Cross is pretty good. Um, another thing that might attack like the inside is like those split back formations, um, and also almost every single read option is a trying to uh, every good read option. So like trio offset, uh, some of the popular read options like that trio offset read option or um, uh, gun spread offset. Those offset formations they're using an inside zone read concept, and so the Michael Cross would be a good play for that. So you base everything off of tendencies still in your run. So you're still saying strong right run defense, Mike Sam crash. Strong left run defense, Will Punch your seam. Middle run defense, Mike Will cross three. Balanced run defense, inverted cover three. And you see how we're saying that? When they have a formation that is 100% balanced, like the single back ace, 
and the beginning, you want to be calling something like the inverted cover three. So what is the inverted cover three? Let's hop into that now. It's basically just a cover three. And we like to take this safety, put him in a hook zone, man align, and then base align, and shade our safeties in. And you see how this is kind of an inverted cover, cover two? I, I, I think I've been saying in cover, inverted cover three. I meant to say inverted cover two because there's only two deep safeties. And you see how you're going to get eight guys in the box. This is probably the most balanced running fence of all time, and it's been around for years. Okay? It's all about numbers. But again, we, we don't want to diminish the stronghold of the Mike Sim crash, the Will Punchy seam, the Mike Will Cross, things like that. Okay? Because run defenses in men 25 is a little bit more complicated than this, and we're going to dive into this in some of the later tips. But as a general rule, you want to have some kind of a formation. And, and this is why we call it the five sets for success. This is why I really don't like to run one formation all game on defense. I'd like to have a couple of different formations so that I can have more plays because I need something like this formation out of 4-3 odd to stop the run. And so we've talked about it before. We have the cover through buzz. Then we also have the Mike Sam crash, the Will Punch 3 seam, the Mike Will Cross 3, and the cover 3 all in that one package. And so now we have the ability to stop the off tackle right, off tackle left, middle run, and then the balanced run with the inverted cover 3. So it all starts with the inverted cover 3. But it all stems off of all these other different tendencies, all these other different scenarios and variables that are going to be thrown into you in the middle of the game. And you have to have a preparation. And so when you're building your playbook, when you're building your scheme, make sure you have some kind of a run defense out of every single um kind of group personnel grouping so like out of four three you have this four three odd setup just like i have it or out of a three four you say okay i'm going to set it up so that i have the three four over formation is going to be my run defense okay there's several different ways to do it but it all stems upon having that inverted cover three or cover two and we're going to talk a little a lot more about run defense because i feel like that's one of the biggest struggles in Madden 25 this year, and uh, we're going to try to talk about how to lock up some of the better runs in the game uh, with a very unique nickel package that I've been putting together. But anyways, guys, I want to appreciate you for taking the time to kind of listen and, and kind of hear some of these concepts as I give them to you, and uh, I hope that these are helping. If they are helping, please let me know. Uh, also, what is your run defense? What do you use uh, as your base run defense? And also, uh, guys, I forgot to ask this on my offensive tip. But what is your run set? What formation do you like to run out of? Uh, is it strong close? Is it gun trips tight in slot with the buck, buck sweep? Uh, is it pistol trips? Is it pistol ace? All these different run defense, all these different run defenses and runs. Uh, leave me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. And also, guys, lastly, if you have any problems, questions, comments, or concerns with this video, uh, please let me know so that I can address those as soon as possible. Thank you for your time today, guys. I hope that this tip was beneficial to you, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And be sure to come back for some more Madden 25 tips. We'll have tips all the way throughout the day. Uh, four videos today, guys. We're back on that horse, and we are riding it throughout the whole summer. Thanks for your time today, guys, and we'll see you later.